How do you feel about that area under your kitchen sink? It's one of those spaces that can be kind of forgotten and is often not used to its full potential. I have that typical double door cabinet under the sink and for the first time I'm actually able to really recycle since we have an excellent recycling system going on in this building and in the surrounding area here at Södermalm in Stockholm. So I decided to dedicate that under sink cabinet entirely to my trash and to my recycling. A space I would otherwise probably have used for cleaning supplies. Next to that cabinet is the dishwasher which means it's unusable for storage. That leaves this narrow cabinet. Yeah. The only thing in there in terms of storage solutions is a slide out rack for three dish towels. First of all keeping my dish towels in there is super inconvenient. I'd have to open the door with wet hands and drip all over the floor until I got the towel out of there. So using it for that wasn't really an option for me. While I thought of how I could better utilize the space, I kept a couple of rolls of paper towels in there along with the microwave lid and a container of dishwashing tablets. If you saw my video about my cutlery drawer, you saw the wooden dividers I bought for it. Turns out the company I bought them from also saw it and asked to use the image I used for my thumbnail, so we did a little swap. They got a use for the image and I got to pick something from their site in exchange. Enter this pullout organizer. It comes in various widths and I went for the widest I could for the narrow space. It did mean I could no longer keep the door on hinges though, but had to mount it on the organizer itself. I have to be honest, it took a few goes until I figured it out. There are some extra holes at the back of that door where I did my measurements wrong, but in the end I got it right. Measure twice cut once? Yeah, I must have measured five times and still got it wrong four. I do love the end result though. I considered adding a pull-out thingy under the actual sink too, but access to where you turn the water on and off for the apartment is in the back of the cabinet by lifting the bottom shelf, so I felt it would be too inconvenient, so I just opted for bins in there. I did a little rethink of what cleaning supplies should be stored in the kitchen and which are better suited to be stored in the bathroom, and ended up with this pile. So at the back of the under sink cabinet I keep my extra paper towels since I don't need access to them very often. Also at the back I have a bin for paper bags. In front of that one I have another same size bin for trash that I can't recycle. These bins are from Ikea by the way. I already had them at the house and they came in handy in the apartment too. This bin is for my paper and cardboard recycling. The last bin is for the rest of the stuff that can be recycled. Would you be interested in a video dedicated to recycling by the way? I love the system we have here and wouldn't mind sharing. In that narrow cabinet I now have three shelves for cleaning supplies. Mini is supervising, of course. I love how it pulls out and how you don't have to dive into the back to find something. On the top shelf I keep the dishwasher tablets in a Muji container and the cleaning solutions and spray bottles. I also keep my Muji duster there for easy access. Further down I keep other cleaning products and corral smaller ones in those Muji containers where needed. I've diluted some cleaners to get the proportions right every time and spray bottles so I can use them directly. I use a brother label maker for the labels. I do love how this turned out. I now have a practical space instead of one not used to its full potential. I'll leave a link below to where I got the pull-out organizer. It's a local Swedish source though, so you know. If you are local, do check out the It's Design site. They have lots of good stuff. So that's how I've organized the space under my kitchen sink. Let me know if you like it by giving me a thumbs up. And if you don't already, do subscribe. I have more content coming up. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.